Hey, I'm going to show you how to glue a hook into a popper head. These are River uh, Road foam cylinders. They don't all come mixed colors. I've just jammed a bunch in here uh, to show you. First of all, you've seen this. You guys know about this. We're going to cut a popper body. Perfect popper body, actually. A perfect popper body. So there, there you go. Look at that. Beautiful creation. Now, now you got a hook here. I get that. You can just thread it on like a worm. Well, I suppose you could. <laughs> but so here's here's the razor blade that comes with the kit. Wonderful. Here's the razor blade I've come to love even better after trying. The trick is to hold this foam body upside down because you, you want the hook to go in the bottom and cut a slit straight from front to back. You don't need to go quite up as far as the bevel in the back. Try to make it the same depth. And you want to try not to cut off at an angle one way or the other. Try to go straight down. Trust me, it took me a few practices. Now this is a Gamma Gatsu B10S Stinger. This happens to be a size one, and this is uh, the three. No, this is the seven seven sixteenth foam. Let's see if that's going to fit in there. Oh yeah. See how that's going to look? It's going to be so slick. Okay, so oh, Chris, go down, down. Put it down in picture date. It's going to look good right here. So now, <coughs> a couple things I want to share with you. If you put thread on this hook, it will be miserable to glue it in. Keep the hook bare. Why will it be miserable? Because it will get stuck before it gets in there. Try to hold that slit open. Zap gel. Just run a little bead along there. Then take your hook, and from the rear to the front, just kind of rock it in there. So are you pressing the outside of the popper when you say hold the slit open? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of squeezing okay. the outside. Okay, and then you let go of it. And then I let go of it. Now, I'm going to squeeze this closed. And, you know, sometimes it closes up completely, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, sometimes you, I've seen your practices and they look just like it's not yeah. even slit. Sometimes it's, it's you, really don't, cool. you don't even notice it. This one's close, but not quite tight. Now, one of the things you want to do here, one of the don't do's, if you can see that little dab of super glue up there, I'm going to want to take something that can bear application of super glue and wipe that right off and make absolutely sure that the eye of this hook is clear and it is so I can spend a little I can spend a little bit more time I can hold this but that's how you do it that's how you glue these in it works very nicely the other thing you might do is take that little dab of super glue off the back of the popper so there you have your popper head glued onto your hook.